All right, guys. So, quick video here on the SkyZone 04X uh, firmware update, and there was a firmware update that came down in December uh, to fix a few issues and mainly to uh, add um, a menu item to the system menu so that you can switch the um, steady view receiver from the mix mode, or basically like a rapid fire mode, where it merges the two signals and it switches it to diversity mode. So for some of those cameras and video transmitters where you have that rolling video problem, uh, they have now the sort of the backup uh, mode that Rapid Fire has where it just goes back to diversity mode. Now, some people in various Facebook groups are saying that this is not documented anywhere, and I was like, well, it's right in the manual. Here's the manual, firmware update, and it has um, the basically the firmware update procedures for the goggles, the DVR, and the receiver. But I'll walk you through it here, just in case it's not completely, um, I guess, completely understandable. It's a, uh, it's actually not that confusing. But uh, oh, by the way, I have the EV 300 O's here as well, and uh, there was a rapid mix update for the receiver. They came down in December, I think, at the end of the December, and the same uh, firmware update that adds the diversity mode. Uh, in the menu and also fixes a few issues like on the screen and stuff that is on the product page for the EB300 so I'll link where you can get the downloads for this uh, the Sky 04X uh, firmware is on the Skyzone Hobbies website and the links will those will be down in the video description but to do the updates um, we'll do the goggle update first and it's really simple so the left scroll wheel here acts as a boot button and so basically you have to press and hold it while you power on the goggle and uh, via USB-C. So you can just power up, for this firmware update, you can just power up the goggle uh, via the USB-C port right here. And so you just get your USB-C cable from your computer. Obviously you're going to need these files downloaded to your computer first and extract the zip files. So you're going to uh, plug this in. And then you're going to hold down the left scroll wheel while you power the goggle on and then that will put the goggle into um, I guess bootloader mode and it will show up as a uh, drive letter or storage device used to be storage device on your computer so you can copy the files over so assuming you've already downloaded the files and you've extracted the zip files from or extracted the zip files there's gonna be two files in that zip file there's an A file and a B file so what you're going to do first is you're going to copy over the A file. You got to do them one by one. Don't do them both at the same time. Wait for that to finish. And you're going to maybe wait like 10, 15 seconds. And then copy the B file over. The B file over, B file is bigger. So copy that over. And um, it'll take a little, um, probably like a minute or two, depending on how fast your computer is. And um, wait maybe another 10, 15 seconds. And then we can go ahead and eject that USB drive like you would normally do, and then that will remove the USB drive from your computer. You can go ahead and power down the goggle, and your firmware on the uh, goggle itself should be updated. Okay, just to show you that the firmware has been updated, you can go into your menu and go down to System, and then you should have this new uh, menu item called RF Mode, and you can switch that between Mix and diversity. That's two modes now. And then to check your firmware version, go down to firmware version here. And you should see it should be 1.3.4 should be the firmware one. And then 01, 02, 00, 04 should be firmware two. Then you know that you've uh, completed the firmware update correctly. And by the way, the uh, firmware versions on the eSheen EV 300 O's is exactly the same. Okay, so to do the um, of the firmware update on the rapid mix module, uh, the I believe the uh, the firmware on the steady view should be this, uh, already updated, but this one's older. So in order to get the firmware on here, you have to use the USB C as well. But while you're plugging it in, you have to hold down the uh, bootloader button here, which is right here. So press and hold that, and plug this in, and then it'll show up as a USB drive, just like the goggles did. And then for the rapid mix uh, firmware should be, I think it's just a, I think it's an A file, only one file, I believe. And then you just copy it over the same way as before. That's a pretty small file, shouldn't take that long. Maybe wait a little bit. 
eject the, a eject the USB drive and then go ahead and unplug it and then you should have the firmware updated on the rapid mix module this adds the uh, diversity mode so you can fall back to diversity mode in case you have that uh, rolling video problem okay so that should cover everything in terms of how to do the uh, firmware updates for these goggles if you have any questions let me know i'll talk to you guys in the next one